Hey folks, welcome to week eight of our Arts and Prayer series. We're really excited to be talking this week about music, which is probably one of the most common art prayer practices that most of us engage in. So we're going to hear from some of our staff and volunteers who have spent years offering their musical gifts uh, to our camp family. We're really excited to hear how they marry those two things together. Let's listen in. Hey everyone, my name is Carly from uh, West River. I worked there on program staff the last three summers. And music is one of the biggest things that I use uh, for quiet time with God and for prayer time. So one of the biggest times that I use music as prayer is when I'm driving. Um, I'll, I have plenty of worship music playlists that I go to regularly um, just to use as reminders um, in the hard times that God is there. And one of the coolest things that I have found using music as a form of prayer is that sometimes it can be really hard to think of the words that you want to say, um, but music has already done that for us. So it gives us um, choruses that repeat over and over again that we can allow ourselves to speak those words and have that conversation with God in a moment that we don't really feel like we know what we want to say. Um, and a lot of times for me, I have found that um, the music that I'm listening to knows what I want to say before I do. Um, so I use music every day um, to find my space with God. And actually in quarantine, one of the coolest things is that um, I finally taught myself how to play guitar. So that's another way that I've been able to use music as prayer too. I'll learn a worship song or two um, and I'll play it as often as I can just to allow those words to really seep into my soul and um, allow me to really find a cool meeting with that. Um, and really just to have that one-on-one -on -one connection with God is um, really a gift that music has given us. And I really think um, that even if you're not a big music person to maybe find one worship song or one song that means a lot to you and just kind of allow yourself to like find a moment of quiet and just listen to it and use those words as your conversation with God. So one thing I really love is hymns. Um, so one thing that I like to do is look up hymns on Spotify or YouTube and just imagine that I'm sitting in church singing them and listening to them. Um, right now it's obviously not completely safe to be in a church setting um, so it's really nice to imagine that and I would just reflect on the words and what it's saying and how I can relate it to myself and how I can be a better Christian in my everyday life. Hi my name is Carissa Serber and I'm one of the pastors at Severna Park United Methodist Church and co-director of Camp Awesomer and Awesomest. I've been thinking a lot about music and how it's always been part of my life some of you know that my mom is the organist at Grace United Methodist Church in Gaithersburg, and so it'll come as no surprise that music has always been part of my faith. My parents have a small electronic organ in their house, and so every Saturday morning, I would hear my mom practicing all the hymns and the prelude and the postlude that she was gonna play on Sunday. So music and faith, for me, they go hand in hand. I would sit through choir rehearsals and then when I was coloring at the kitchen table, end up singing the soprano part to some Easter hymn, just because it was what was stuck in my head at the time. Now it's the piano that gets me coming back to music and especially music of my faith. You know, experts say that when you do something and you just get into it so much that you just lose track of time, that's called being in a flow state where you just are so good at something, you enjoy it so much, you just lose all track of time. And you just keep going and going. That for me is what it's like to play the piano and to sing. But I think another name for that is prayer. Playing the piano, making music, singing, any way you look at it, music can be prayer and it is prayer. Whenever we lift it up to God, dedicate it to God and let the Holy Spirit flow through us like the breath in our lungs. Music is prayer. So my challenge to you is to make music and make your music your prayer. Whether you are a musician and identify that way, play whatever your instrument is, sing your voice, whatever it sounds like. Or maybe for you, the challenge is to make a new playlist for yourself, a playlist that is full of prayer, whatever the songs are songs that make you come back to God whenever you turn them up loud in the car or wherever it is that you go to be with God. Enjoy the music and enjoy the presence of God this day.
All right, there you have it, folks. Hopefully you gleaned something from that combination of music and prayer. And thank you so much to all the folks who put together just a little piece for us to hear about how they put those two things together. And an extra thanks to all the folks who've been watching and following along our summer series as we've talked about so many different things from wellness to knots to outdoor skills and, of course, prayer and arts. It's been wonderful to share this time with you, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.